It's day 13, but more importantly, December 25th. Uh, here we go. This is uh, the finale. Good job, says the seal. <laughs> Today's from Duker. And uh, this is the final offering of this very lovely package little thing. It feels like a frame, maybe. I don't know what's going to be in it, but we got this little card here slipping in. Uh... Here we go. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I guess we got to shatter the seal, by which I mean I didn't shatter it at all. I just kind of opened it. Unfolds. Folds. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. This is like when you sent uh, those beads work. It was a very, very similar process hiding spot oh shoot uh okay how so clearly this probably wants to open thusly so i just got to take care of this tape editing zone all right so i removed the tape that was here which now let me oh hey whoop i was upside down <laughs> oh man, that callback though. <laughs> oh, this is really cool looking. Oh yeah, okay, no, yeah, your beadwork is like really good. I mean, yeah, you like you transpose the pixels, right? It's pretty I mean not simple, but I mean like you get you got you got you got the the model you can work on, but like it's just it's just very well adapted. This looks really cool. Like the amount of detail in the very limited pixel space is very impressive. Oh man, thank you. Thank you, Duker. Um whoop. This is really cool. This is really cool looking. And you know what? Like, there's just something about something homemade, right? It's a bit of an angle. There you go. I see everything as an angle. I'm a very tall guy. I'm just kind of used to seeing things at angle. So let's unangle a little bit. Hey there, everyone. I'm back here in this last loud part <laughs> with the sound mix very bad between my phone and my computer. How's it going? Merry Christmas, everyone! Uh, this is gonna go up on Christmas evening. Hope you got a great one, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you still have, like, a fantastic day. Fantastic few days. You know, you might still be getting days off, you know, in spite of not celebrating. That's pretty rad. And, uh, yeah, we got the final ambush, as far as I am aware. Uh, maybe I should just... Let's, like, on talk house, just one last second, just in case. Alright, I just checked. Nothing hiding on talk house, so we are ready to go. This will be the final run. We got eight. I mean, we kind of know one person. We know two person. We know, we got an idea what one's gonna be. What else gonna happen? I don't know. Slug Cat, though, what are you doing here? Mer slugs, Miss Rao's cow. In the spirit of the holidays, there's a heartwarming action platforming featuring a, featuring a story of revenge set in a dystopian cyberpunk future. Ho, ho, wholesome. <laughs> Sanabi, I've heard this. I've heard of this, right? Uh, Use your signature spreading arm to jump over cliffs. Sweet Sanabi, I'm sure I've heard about this somewhere well here we are official release here we go just to give ourselves wonder potion and neo Wiz are all involved oh yeah I'm pretty sure I've seen this this trailer somewhere look how tiny your player character is on screen like that to me that's just so amazing like it just gives such a sense of scale there's balloon welcome to party town and, like, you're allowed to zoom in. This is a thing video games don't do enough. You know, when you're doing a 2D platformer, zoom way out during the platforming. You're allowed to zoom in when other things happen. Ah, uh, this looks so good. That's right, robot. Get bent, get wrecked, get destroyed while we're going to go ahead and wire across town. Car opens up, and then people show up, and it's like, whoa, what? What does that even mean? I don't know. 
kind of trying to comment on things I don't have any um, context for. I just like the very also effective design of the player character. Just something really cool about it. What is up with that super bright orb following you though, Sanabi? Assuming that's your name? I have no idea. I have very little context, but this is exactly the kind of trailer I love to see. Oh, that's... There's a mess that happened here. Uh, according to a thumbnail underneath this video, I haven't seen the thumbnail and I'm not gonna click on it, but it says Snobby Colin True Slash Beautiful Ending. So there's an ugly one? Ooh, that's a pretty recent game from this November. Oh, this looks super cool though. Alright, um, I'm adding it. It's mine now. I am owning... What? <laughs> That's right! From the past, uh, Amya's here, not with the Final Fantasy yet, but I almost forgot to give the obligatory Musou game. But since they never made a Musou for Final Fantasy, I guess Dragon Quest Heroes will have to do instead. I don't know I knew that they made a Musou game from Dragon Quest, although I guess I shouldn't be surprised. And also, I shouldn't be surprised that I don't know about it, because it's not exactly a, a series I'm keeping myself uh, well informed on. Oh, but here we are. Karao. 13 days, 13 Final Fantasies. Honestly, I've never played this one. know basically nothing about it. Hopefully, the blurb will actually be helpful. <laughs> well, let's find out together. Final Fantasy 13, NE Northeast. Final Fantasy 13 is a fantasy RPG in which a band of brave humans struggles against fate in the Utopian city, Sky City of Cocoon, in the primeval world of Pulse. Follow stylish heroine lightnings, fast paced battles, and high adventure in Mysterious New World. Eh, it's, eh, you know, it doesn't really say all that much. I mean, you know, it just kind of. Bears down like the very bare minimum of what's going to happen, but you know you get an idea. I mean, they, they straight out say it's a fantasy RPG. I, I feel like I've seen footage, and it doesn't feel very fantasy from the footage I've seen. Like, isn't like a lot? Isn't it a lot more sci-fi? Well, I'm gonna trust Square Enix to be accurate when they describe their games on the marketplace. And SA Jewer, hey, uh, how's it going? On the 13th day of Christmas, we're now officially just... The, the rules do not apply. A golf membership? Hell yeah! <laughs> it does go to 12. Don't worry about it. Nice shot! A gun going... <laughs> this is one golf game that won't hold your hand. Those are enemies. How does that even work? Well, you got you got bonus points and come under par. This is really silly. Uh, I feel like I should look at see how the game like looks like how it works because just like that, sure it's a silly idea, but like what is it really? Polygraph. That's a polygon depiction of a griffin, so that makes sense. Okay, so you have a percentage. Uh, there's online multiplayer. That gov all just kind of pop. Okay, so you don't shoot the- like, you- you aim for the golf ball, and that is how it pops. Alright, that makes sense, actually. I don't know why I thought it'd be something more complicated, uh, but I guess I did. Uh, Alright, the frame rate is fantastic. <laughs> Whoa, spooky Halloween update. I mean, this looks pretty silly. You find the little golf ball, except that's the trick. It's not little, it's kind of super huge. Then you shoot it, and it goes away. It's like, goodbye, and no one remembers about it ever again. It is lost in the woods. Alright, fair enough. I was wondering how that would work conceptually, and now I know. Ooh, hey there, Atchella. How's it going? Oh, cow. You are literally one of my favorite people ever. Thank you for being you. you. Might want to search for gameplay trailer. The default trailer is a cinematic. Thank you for just spelling it out for me like that. I genuinely appreciate it. Ghost Runner. I'm assuming, yes, the logo, it's a bit hard to say. 
Ghost Runner offers a unique single-player experience, fast-paced, violent combat, an original setting that blends science fiction with post-apocalyptic themes. Okay, so look, I, I, I don't know about a quality game or anything, but none of that feels all that unique, uh, but it does sound like a very good base, baseline to do something cool with it. The start of a world has already ended. Ah, we're post-post, and its inhabitants will fight to survive. Post-post-apocalypse. No, this might just be post. Alright, so you say I want... Gameplay. Just gonna... Uh, oh, this one, probably? Probably. Ghost Runner, original, for... Yeah. Product banana. not yet rated. Oh, it's not rate rated. Oh, it's an FPS! I didn't think that. I mean, I guess with what I had to go with, like, I was imagining something like the Relax. the game we, like, saw to start. The but this is first person. Oh, jeez. So it's like... It's Cyberpunk Sword Mirror's Edge? Because that sounds really cool. <laughs> like, I've got to be real here. This looks really awesome. Whoa, what? The okay. Yeah, mirror edge, but you've got a sword, uh, and the fighting might not be terrible. So, like, improving upon mirror's edge in every way. And also, yeah, it's a lot grimmier, it's a lot more welcome to the factory, rather than beautiful, clear and clean skyscrapers, but hey, you know what? Oh, that looks super cool. Okay, Ghost Runner. Huh. Because, yeah, see, like, read the text, read the blurb here, to me, it, it's... It sounds like it's gonna be like a, a, a first person, like a, a third person, like Sanabi. Like, I felt like it was like, whoa, it's another Sanabi. Like, but no, 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 this is completely different and tickles me. Oh, Ghost Runner, that looks so cool. Thank you, excellent. Whoa, and you're, you're not done. Project Hell. Okay, well. <laughs> All right. Gonna get the DLC to Project Hell, but it's 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 written H E L, which means something else. I mean, still relevant to the world of the dead, but Nega notice back. This is the prequel suggested starting point. One of the best video game franchises in history. The humor is very much up your alley, but it's still emotional. Emotions and humor. That's hard to imagine. Sega's legendary Japanese series arcade when it comes to PC, fight like hell through Tokyo and Osaka. It's Junior Yakuza Kiryu in my Yeah, so that's like like Zero is a prequel that got released like late into the life of the franchise, right? Okay. Okay, Legend is born. They just say it outright right here. But yeah, they can say that. Like like did not the Yakuza or Like a Dragon series like sort of like keep Sega afloat for a hot minute, uh, I feel like then their excitement about their own game <laughs> makes an awful lot of sense. Uh, and Mikofire ends it all shouting, Rao Cow, video games to the end! Then an explosion happens, and then Mikofire, Mikofire from Mikofire, on today, Prison City. Okay, Prison City says, dystopia, all the dystopias, <laughs> what is going on, what is being said to me? Prison City is a dystopian action-packed side-scroller with tight mechanics and intricate level design battle, techno-terrorist with your chakram and grenades, heat hot dogs for health, or for fun, don't say that though, but it's assumed, and locate contacts to help take down bosses, just calling them straight up bosses. I hecked up, I didn't put a space between Prison City and Trailer, but found it anyways. Oh, this is another, like, very recent uh, release. I want, I want launch, I want release. I'm gonna go with that one. Like, I can never tell. The weird, strange code of Trailer Talk. Alright, I'm assuming that's a cutscene. <laughs> that's the Chakram. Oh, what is... <laughs> Oh, Jesus, hell, welcome to Shatterhand, straight up. What? Wow! Yo, yeah, this is like a Sunsoft NES game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no con- No con- Context is not the right word. That, okay, maybe Konami, because that was just straight up TMNT. 
Yeah, they, they are not. No, they are not trying to hide their 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 inspiration. They are basking in it. And I mean, good. <laughs> this looks like they're talking to a dolphin. Yeah, take on the boss rush. Has volcanic nodes and dog diver. Everyone knows those. Everyone knows those. Yeah, pain on the sign. Like, I'm trying to not read too much because uh, this looks just absolutely fantastic. It's a game that knows exactly what it wants to be doing, and it's just doing it. Bomb mode, all right? There's next. Now it's ARM. We're playing G.I. Joe for the NES now, all right? Just changing game. It's fine. Oh, that transition was so good. <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. Play has no limit, according to PlayStation. I disagree. Every game has an end, even games that proclaim to be endless. Because you're not going to play them until you die. I guess you could. I guess for that particular person, the game ended up being endless. That's how we're ending on. Thank you. The Mega Fire is just everything you gave. That's such a vibe. I love it. I love it. Everyone who participated. Everyone who took the time to say a few words. To send a little something. Thank you so much. I, I don't... The Bucket.txt... It's gonna be so much bigger because of y'all, y'all. I haven't, like, counted yet everything I want to add, because, look, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Not every game that I got will end up on the bucket. Final Fantasy XI, probably not gonna be on bucket.txt. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. But, um, no. Yeah, no. Uh, all of that looks so good. Look, all of that looks just absolutely fantastic. I've got... So much cool stuff, and a lot of stuff I just didn't know about. So I guess that's the advantage of not keeping really track of what's going on outside the game world, is that when things pop up in my face, they're always just such a surprise. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. A great Christmas, or uh, anything else that we might be doing. Hanukkah's out there, you know. Um, have a good of that. I don't, I, I don't want to assume I know the direct equivalent, if there are any. Some, some, some don't have any equivalents, and you just, you just have a good day, you know? Just, just enjoy the, the couple of day offs you might get and whatnot. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Man, like, I don't know, there was just something just so easygoing this year. It just, just felt like a... Like, like, like doing this for the last uh, two weeks. Like, it's just, it's just, there it was just something comforting and relaxing. And just, just, just mellow, you know, just kind of mellowing out. Seeing some cool stuff. It just felt good. It just felt just like, and I don't, like, I'm good, positive. Like, I know that good is not, like, the most extreme of positive adjectives. But I mean it in like its most sincerest, purest, most basic form. It's raw goodness. That's what it feels like. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm digging the vibe. I'm digging the feeling. Wow, wild.